بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ایم شا ٹیک ٹوڈے وی آر ایکسپلورنگ ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اسمارٹ فارم اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ آئی ڈیسائڈیڈ ٹو ایکسپلور یو ٹو ایکسپلین دا ڈیولپمنٹ آف اسمارٹ فارم بائی گونگ یو این ایگزامپل آف دا فائنینشیل ڈاکومنٹ کریشن اینڈ ان اے پارٹ آف دیٹ آئی ول شو دا ڈیٹا آف our financial model watcher to uh, to the smart form and we will discuss all the steps uh, one by one in detail so then you can understand all the step very easily and uh, as as we handle this uh, type of uh, um, creation of a smart form as a project so you will also learn a lot of things uh, step by step so let's explore the what are the step will be involved in this uh, project let's begin first of all we will uh, find how the how we do the requirement gathering for the information display in smart form and on the step second uh, we will ask the user to um, uh, for about what what will be the input parameters uh, required to display the information and in the third step we will ask the user what type of layout and what uh, kind of layout uh, will he required to display the information of voucher as uh, as our uh, project is belong to the voucher information uh, so uh, i all uh, i will use voucher as our test case you can also align Uh, your uh, your own information as per the requirement so in the fourth step we will find all the technical information of uh, the required information and uh, that will be the best uh, thing if you uh, if you make a technical documentation for all the uh, technical uh, information so in the fi- fifth step we will Uh, we will create a technical uh, data structures in SE 11 uh, all the data structure that will required for uh, the development of program as well as smart form we will create first the data structure in SE 11 transition code in the sixth step we will uh, do the development a uh, testing of a smart form uh drivers program first because the driver program uh, will be the base of uh, uh, will be the base of our smart form because it will bring it will prepare all the data required to display in the smart form and the seventh step we will uh, do the uh, development of a smart form uh, very um, clearly because at the at the end of sixth stage we will have all the uh, required data to display into the smart form so after that we will develop our smart form in the seventh step at the uh, at the after the seventh step we will do the testing of smart form in the eighth step uh, so the testing is also a very important part of uh, any project or any task so we will do thoroughly and uh, testing of our smart form in detail uh, later in this videos so and the last in the final stage of the project we will create a transaction code for executing the drivers program that will uh, execute the drivers pro- driver program and the driver program will call our smart form to display our required information so let's our let's start our first step that is required requirement gathering for the information display in smart form uh, as uh, as we discussed earlier that we are going to display the voucher the uh, financial voucher information in our smart form uh, so uh, we we know that fb03 is a transition code for voucher display so let's go to the system and explore the technical uh, requirement or technical information from Uh, directly from the transition code uh, add uh, one thing more that we will have to know what will be the master information and what will be the detail information 
let us go to the uh, straight to the transition code so we will find our required information uh, as needed here it is now we are in the uh, transition code fb03 and uh, i select the randomly uh, voucher number that is 10002 and the company code 5 and the fiscal year 2007 and uh, now i press enter uh, but before entering into the document let's uh, find the uh, technical information of each field which required for this transition code so uh, click on the document number field and then press f1 we will have uh, some technical information about the field that is uh, the most important field that is accounting document number so if we click on the technical information button we will have the technical uh, name of this field that is bell uh, b e l n r let's uh, uh, let's note it down into our uh, any um, any notepad any notepad or any document like word so that will be useful for the creation of a uh, technical document so let's i use uh, the notepad for this here i write the master master info and master information so first field is bell nr that is uh, that will be the uh, that is field name for the just copy the name of this field accounting document number into the just copy the field of the name as same like this that in our case accounting document number and if we again press F1 on the second field that is company code and find the technical information of this field click on the technical uh, information button the field name is BUKRS that is the company name company code so our third important field is fiscal year let's copy its name and then click on the technical information the name of this uh, technical field is GJAHR let's write it down on our notepad G GJAHR and paste the name of it after having the technical information of uh, uh, major field of voucher let's go into the transition by entering and the um, uh, enter button so here it is we have now um, we have now the uh, master detail information of our voucher uh, as you as, uh, as you see that the data and in the data entry view we have two major uh, view of uh, voucher uh, journal ledger view and the uh, data entry view we can uh, sh we can view our uh, data uh, of voucher by using these two views 
uh, one is data entry view and then other is general ledger view so uh, as we have already the uh, know the technical information of document number company code and the fiscal year so the required in the uh, the remaining information that need to be have our document date posting date uh, our period re reference cross component number and currency for our uh, master data so let's find one by one all the technical information of uh, for our master uh, uh, master data master data information press f1 on the field it will give the document label of this field let's paste into this and after that click on the technical information its name is BLDAT BLDAT so let's move to the next field that is posting date let's find the control C and then click on the technical information its name is BUDAT BU DAT and then control V so uh, after uh, getting the technical information of posting date we uh, our we have two uh, two field uh, remaining one is reference another is currency so let's find it out press F1 the name of the, the label of the field and after this click on the technical information button and then copy the field name here it is finally we have to uh, find the uh, technical information of currency let's press F1 and then copy the currency key and then click on the technical information button here it is control V and the technical f name is W E W A E R S so now we have all the major uh, technical information field of uh, our master um, master information block after that we have to find the um, the uh, the technical information of our the detail section that will be the line item information so uh, here we have to know the company and the company code and in this after this item um, line item number and then we have the posting key field and after that uh, we have SGL indicator special GL indicator and uh, um, after this we have accounting field that is the most important field for any voucher and the description uh, will be displayed from the master uh, in uh, master uh, table and the next most important field is the amount field currency will be same as we have uh, the currency in the uh, in our uh, master information and that will be the same um, in the detailed information also same as the company code so uh, um, let's conclude that what uh, field we will need uh, we will need to find the technical information of line item posting key uh, and the account and after that uh, we will 
have to find the amount field technical information so let's uh, find one by one let's click on the line item field and then press f1 so as you uh, as you see that uh, line item uh, columns have uh, two uh, two uh, two field one is the uh, one is with zeros and one is without zeros so uh, select the uh, select the column which is without zero let's uh, select the name of uh, the label of the column and then go to the so um, by following the same procedure we will find the information of our detail block um, by the same procedure by pressing the f1 individually on each field or each required field and uh, find the required technical field information and write it down to our document that is here i am using the notepad so i discover all the important four field uh, that will be required for the detail block and if the user want to uh, want to uh, show any any other field uh, for uh, displaying on the voucher so uh, like cost center or like order or something else uh, you can also um, um, find the same uh, same procedure to find the technical information uh, but if the field are not displaying here in the detail section you just have to click on right click on the any column and then click on the show button it will show all the field that are not displaying on this voucher and uh, you can uh, you can show it down uh, to the uh, to the screen by just selecting uh, to the uh, to the left uh, left side of our uh, panel so for for example if i want to uh, display the business area just click on the uh, show selected field uh, button and then click on the ok button here it is as you know the functional area field uh, field column is now displaying you just have to follow the same practice as we did earlier press f1 and then find its technical information uh, by clicking on the technical information button so in the first step we uh, we gather the the technical information of uh, the both section of master information and the detail information and uh, the series of uh, this uh, the creation of a smart form step by step is going on let's uh, meet into the next video uh, if you like this video do click on the like button and uh, for the next videos do subscribe to my channel channel so uh, you can find my next videos easily uh, until then bye bye take care